Good morning, everyone. I'm here with Buck. Bluey's here with his friends. He's come, gonna come down because I just threw peanuts. You ready for your peanuts, Buck, and apples? Go get your peanuts, Bluey. There goes Bluey and his friends. They're all here. Hi, Bluey. Bluey brings his friends now. He comes with like two other friends. He used to come by himself. Now he comes with two friends. Did you just drop an apple? Drop a peanut. Oh, you're dropping peanuts, baby. Oh, you're dropping peanuts. You're dropping peanuts. Look at them. They're collecting the peanuts. I'm fighting for peanuts. No fighting. No fighting. These are like the three stooges right now. Here. Look at them. Now they're all following each other. I just threw one of Buck's peanuts. I have Simon's peanuts right behind me in the cup. Literally right behind me in that cup. Oh, Buck, look, you got a big peanut. It's got a big one, got a big cashew. Oh, Red is here too, hi, Red. Hi, pretty boy. Red just got here. Red is there, hi, Red. They all pop up. And Bluey, of course, came back for more peanuts. <laughs> They love peanuts. Oh, you're dropping apples on your side, big boy. All right, I just threw a peanut for Red. Red just took it and left. It's a muggy morning this morning. Very muggy. Feels like it's going to rain, but I don't know. It doesn't say rain on the forecast, so probably not. I don't think so. You know the weather. It's like tricky. They say it's not going to do one thing and then it does it. And you drop that up on my side. And you're about to drop the peanut. How am I going to get it now, Buck? Hold on. Hold on, guys. I'm going to keep these really close because i got to try to get this without him hitting my head with the antlers. <laughs> Hold on. i got to put these down for one minute, okay? Well, not one minute. One, two seconds. Just to grab his apple that he dropped. Okay. No, you're dropping apples left and right. Okay dropping all the apples you keep dropping all the apples there's definitely two apple slices on your side I just filled up the little ones bowls of water I filled up his bucket of water Put some ice cold water in there the little ones bowls every morning I find that empty empty dry which is dirt inside of it so it looks like everybody like you know, enjoys it. Okay. Now Buck is eating his corn. I'm gonna keep the peanuts closer to me. I'm gonna see if Simon comes. Cause if Simon doesn't come, then I'm just gonna give it to the birds. They'll enjoy it. So I'm gonna wait to see if Simon comes. Oh my god, the crate. I'm <laughs> sorry guys. This crate is like digging into the dirt with my fat tushy on it. <laughs> the buck is here. 
I see only one tick on his antler, on the his right antler. He has a tick. But if it's on the antler, it's okay. Because, you know, eventually he's going to shed that velvet. I see a tick right there. See? Right there. But it's okay if it's on the antlers, you know? I'm just waiting to see if Simon comes. Hey, baby, you want peanuts too? You might find peanuts. I think there's more there. Aww. I'll give you some. Here. You want peanuts? All right, I just threw some peanuts for the squirrel because I felt bad he was looking for peanuts. And the Blue Jays, forget it. They'll steal all the peanuts. We think Simon is bad with the peanuts? Oh, no, no. The Blue Jays, they're worse than Simon with the peanuts. Because they'll fly down. They could fly, you know? So they'll fly down. Oh, there's a bee. They'll fly down to get the peanuts and then fly right back up. So even if there's like an animal, they're not scared of the little ones, the Blue Jays. So they'll fly right in front of the squirrels or Simon or Thumper. And they'll grab whatever they want and they fly right back up. I'm starting to figure out that my son is a mama's boy. Like when he gets fussy, it's so funny. Not that it's funny that when he gets fussy, but I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> well, but when he gets fussy, I notice like he's only good with me. Like he doesn't want to be in my husband's arms. He just wants to be in my arms when he's fussy. Like he'll literally like, it's like if he'll cry for me because he'll stay in my husband's arms crying. And the minute I grab him, he shuts up. And I'm like, really? So I think my son's going to be a big mama's boy. I told my husband, I said, the boys are usually mama's boys and the girls are usually daddy's girls. Like, that's how it is. But I thought about it. I'm doing one and done. Because honestly, guys, I'm already 40 years old. So I was thinking, I, that's the only reason why I don't think I want to have another one. And I just want to enjoy my son, you know? Especially he's so little, I want to enjoy him. Oh, Buck, I smell you again. Now that it's like summer with the heat, I feel like you can smell him more. <laughs> like the urine on him or whatever. Hey, guys. You guys don't fight. This squirrel is looking at the other. There's another squirrel in that tree. And they're both looking at each other. No fighting, please. No fighting. Yeah, go get your peanuts. All right, he got a peanut. And the other squirrel's on the tree looking like, I want to grab that peanut, but I don't know. He's pretty dark, his hair. So cute. And he's coming down. Let's see if he gets the peanut. I'm telling you, the animals that come every day, they become so territorial, like all of them. <laughs> Except Buck, because Buck doesn't have to fight his, for his food for, with no one. Maybe the little ones have to, like, fight for their food. Go get it. Go get it. All right, so this little squirrel over here wants to grab the peanuts, but I think he's like hesitating to go close because that squirrel's there. <laughs> but I love how they grab it with their hands. It's so cute. Oh, he's coming. Let's see. Hopefully they don't fight. Oh my God. So the other squirrel chased the other one away. No, the peanuts are in the front, baby. They're in the front. You gotta keep walking straight. No, he missed it. Squirrels are so funny. And then by the end of this week, I heard the weather is supposed to get, like this weekend is supposed to be in the 90s, like 92, 93. I'm like, wow. But you know what? It is summer, so it's what we expected, you know? And I've been seeing a lot of those Japanese beetles, uh, lanternflies, I'm sorry, not beetles. 
the Japanese lantern flies, those lantern bugs, the ones that kill the trees and stuff. I've been seeing so many, like on bushes, on plants. So I've been looking into it. I don't know if it's true. I'm going to try it today to see if it actually works. If it does work, I'll let you know. <coughs> I hear white vinegar kills them. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to put white vinegar into a spray bottle and spray at them where I see them, like around the bushes. Thank God over here by Buckside, sometimes I'll find like one or two. I don't see too much. Because they're easy to spot. They're either all black with white dots. Those are the babies. And then the, the adults, bugs, the lantern flies, they're like red with white spots. And black, I think, on them too. So I'm going to try that today. I'm going to spray white vinegar on them and see what happens. If it does kill them, I'll definitely let you guys know that it works. Because, you know, you can't put, like, bug spray on plants. It'll probably kill the plants. You know what I mean? It's like, we can't start spraying bug spray all over, like, bushes and, bu and plants and flowers. So I was looking for, like, an organic way to kill those bugs. Because, you know, they're invasive. They're not good. I heard if we see them, we're supposed to kill them. And there's so many close to the house. It's not even not even over here. It's like closer to the house down there, like on the bushes and stuff and on plants. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, there's too many. So I'm going to try to figure out how to oh, talking about it. Isn't that crazy? I was just talking about it. That's what I'm talking about. Those bugs right there. I don't even know. Buck spray won't even freaking kill it because I tried the last time. It didn't kill it. It just lets them fly. No, I'm not spraying you, Buck. I sprayed the bug, baby. Not you. But that's crazy. I was just talking about them and they popped up. I'm looking at this tree. I want to look at this tree, the branches, to see if I see any on it. So I really don't want to go spraying anything around here, you know? I mean, white vinegar is okay because it'll be safe for the animals, too. Just, they probably won't like the smell of it. Oh my God, is it on this plant behind me? No. Okay. That's what I was talking about. That bug must have heard me like, hey, like you're trying to kill us. <laughs> but that's what I was talking about. Those bugs. They made itself shown. And now Buck is eating the peanuts that I threw for the squirrels. Because I don't see Simon, so I figure I just throw them. If Simon doesn't come, like, too early, I just throw the peanuts. Because I can't sit here and wait for Simon to come, you know? Because I've been coming out a lot earlier to feed Buck. I've been coming out, like, at 9 a.m. to feed Buck. So, Simon usually pops up around 10. And by then, I'm already undyed. I feel bad that, you know, I'm not here when he pops up. But I'm assuming that's the time that Simon comes is 10. Right, Buck? Where's my big boy? Now he's collecting the corn because he ate all his corn. Because I threw a little bit of corn right there where Buck is eating. He's eating it now. That's why I can't throw nothing for the little ones. Let's say before or after Buck is eating. Because he'll eat them. He'll eat every everything that I throw. So that's why I purposely do it while Buck is eating his corn. Like I'll throw the peanuts for the birds or the squirrels. Wow, the way the sun is shining into the forest, like down there, it looks so nice. It's all shade in there right now, but that one spot is sunny. It's so nice. I know, I didn't throw no bread, Buck. The seed of bread. Buck is probably looking for the bread. He knows I usually throw it around there. He's probably looking like, where is it? It has to be here. You're leaving me, big boy? Like that? All right. All right. I guess Buck left. He's off. He had his breakfast, and now he's off. Oh, he's so funny. All right, everyone. I'm going to get going. I will be back later this evening. I still have to post a video of my son. I know I said I was going to post it yesterday. I'm going to post it today. Like I said, just don't pay mind to my TV screen. You're going to see like a blue glare because my TV is going. Like we've been having problems with my TV. But it's weird because when you're in person, like if somebody's in my house watching TV, you don't see that blue glare. It's only if you put like a camera in front of it, you see it on the camera so weird it is so weird but my tv is going because there's like these little lights that are starting to pop up on my screen but we had my tv for so long it's a samsung and we had it for like 13 years and it's still working and it finally 
like, you know, started going now. But me and my husband, we're waiting for the sales to come, you know? I don't know if it's Labor Day or Memorial. I know Memorial passed already. So I asked, or Veterans Day. I don't know, but I know there's like a day that they usually do sales with electronics. So me and my husband, we're waiting for like one of those sales, you know? We're waiting for one of those sales to come. I'll make sure I don't see none here. Okay, I don't see no lantern, lantern bugs on there, so that's good. And Buck definitely ate. Yep, he ate all his corn. He left literally crumbs. All right. So I will be back later this evening. I hope everybody has a great day today. And me and Buck and the rest of the crew over here, the forest crew, whoever comes later, we'll see who pops up. We'll be back later. Ciao for now.